I should have really put a um, delay on the stream to make sure I can't get stream sniped, but I'm sure I won't get stream sniped. That is a Cramorant. That is a Cramorant. What secrets do you hold, Mr. Cramorant? What? All right, this stream, th this team doesn't like Glacier under Trick Room, so I might go for that. Or I could just play it straightforward. I think we'll just bring, like, the same squad, to be honest. Same squad feels fine. I have to be really careful with the Blastoise. If I let it set up in my face, it could be a huge, huge issue. And it really depends what Urshifu form that is. I doubt it's water. I feel like it's probably dark. We'll just do what we did last time. Are you sure you're not playing Pokeball Tier on accident? I'm. If I can keep getting these matches, I will be happy. If I can keep getting these matches, but to be fair, it's. I would. I would argue I play a lot better against like really, really good opponents than I do against like very, very bad opponents. Just because I, I have a tendency to overpredict, and the overpredictions aren't as bad versus great opponents because you might actually get it right. <laughs> you will never get it right on like really low ladder opponents. I find it really hard to adjust my mindset. I didn't practice for the Cramorant matchup. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna lose to it. I'm gonna lose to it. One of this team's worst matchups is Rain. If I can avoid Rain this whole Player's Cup, I'll be happy. Please be dark, Urshifu. Yes, okay, all right. That's cool, that's perfectly fine. Let me delete Toxtricity. Cause uh, I doubt it's Choice Banded Urshifu, that just doesn't seem like something someone would run with this team. Let me vocal at the Toxtricity so I don't get, you know, anything. <laughs> uh, Cause Urshifu is not an issue for Glycopod, it's just a straight up nay nay. And no Dynamax coming from their side, so I probably just picked up KO. That's pretty epic, dude. It's pretty epic. Pretty epic. It's time to disband the Toxtricity. Yes, I, that's what I mean. How's the microphone quality, by the way? I swear, I bought every time I upgrade something about my stream, I just never stream. I just stop streaming immediately after the fact. I do so much to my Colossal. Oh, that was a crit. Congrats, Colossal. I swear, if that, <laughs> if that crit ends up costing me the game, I'm gonna cry. Because I am not within range of close combat from non-choice banders, Shifu, I can guarantee that. Okay, it's gone. Tell me they like did something dumb and we could blow my Galisapod, that'd be great. Yo, can I get a Galisapog in the chat? Live? Okay. You're good. <laughs> You're good, dude. Oh my god, that was scary. That was scary. Uh, it's definitely within range of Max Flare. This team had Zapdos and Finny going for Surf and Discharge without protecting. Please tell me it was, like, Telepathy Finny. If it's not, I'm gonna be really, really scared. <laughs> um, I could be in range of Sucker Punch. It could be an issue, but... I don't know. We'll just play it. We'll just play it, however. It's not like... The Lysopod can't knock out Urshifu, you know? It'd be really cool if they could just disconnect, like right now. Just them, not me. Just get out. There's the Blastoise. I can max overgrowth into this thing pretty easily. Um, I'm somewhat tempted to do that. Hey, Dr. Director, thanks for the subscription. Welcome to the Boosted Boys. I could also go for a Wide Guard in case they're like Scarf. That'd be funny. But if they're Scarf, I beat them anyways. What I'll do here is I will go for a Liquidation into Urshifu, which I might knock out from this range. If they Sucker Punch, it's kind of eh, whatever. As they don't Sucker Punch, I am going to take that Blastoise. That Blastoise is mine. Thank you. <laughs> Should have done that a while ago. Hey, I appreciate it, man.
I'm surprised they haven't clicked Dynamax, like, at all. Oh, check this out. This is this always does pathetic damage to Glycobod. Not even 50%. Boo! <laughs> Oh my god, thank you. Moxie Pog, Moxie Pog. Alright, they got one Mon left. I think I win. What's their last mon gonna be? I honestly didn't pay too much attention. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. No. I'm sorry, friend. You think it'll live? <laughs> Let me liquidation. I think I think even if they die to max, I just win with liquidation. Like they could max guard here and I would still win with liquidation. If he had Cramorant, he would have won. Possible. Cramorant is an actually good counterplay to this team. Inner focus throw with wide guard? That's a reason to use throw. I'll give it to you there. There it is. We're going to see the G-Max send a Scorch. The next game will have a Shed Ninja. It will 4-0 sweep you. I, I bet you it will, dude. Babe, I'm not going to go on a cringe date at Moxie Boosted is literally... <laughs> Babe, I'm not going on a cringe date. Moxie Boosted is literally going to get another W. <laughs> Can someone make an edit where just right there, it was just like a curb your enthusiasm cut or like a to be continued, just a, or maybe even just like a, the Sonic end game theme it goes. Oh, and when I, when I crit my <laughs> when my Goliath crit the Colossal with Aqua Jet, can you just play Sicko mode? But not like the whole song, just like the first second of the song where it goes Wing. Vex, rating 1533. <laughs> Good one. Alright, so. Uh, this is one of those games where they think they can trick room and then they lose anyways. So we're going to just play that way. It's gonna be one of those games. Let's go with that. What's gonna happen is they're gonna trick room on my lead, and I'm just gonna play as though they didn't. I'm just gonna double out my my Glycopod immediately into the Dust Clops, bulldoze, and then nay nay on them. That's how it goes. That's really how it goes. Is the thing they don't know that that's how it goes, but that's how it goes. John, how you doing? I'm back on my Glycopod BS. They tinkin'. They tinkin'. They're saying, man, why is my Colossal matchup so bad? I know. I will trick room. And then they're gonna trick room. Find out that I'm running bulldoze on my <laughs> bulldoze on my Dusclops. I can see that. <laughs> How you guys doing tonight? By the way, if you guys haven't already followed the Twitch channel, leave a follow. I'm gonna try to stream every uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm gonna do my best to get back on that. Probably won't, but I'll do my best. Just kidding. Kinda care about school more right now. What is one terrible Pokemon not yet in the game that you want to make a team out of? Honchkrow, 100% Honchkrow. Honchkrow is the best. The best, prove me wrong. Hey guys, let's take a guess. What will happen? Will they trick groom? Will they not? They're gonna trick groom on my boy, and I'm gonna take advantage of that by getting in my dust cops and going for the not even a max guard. Let's just go for a regular protect because they're just gonna go for a regular protect. I know for a fact I can one shot them with max flare. I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> If they go for a max quake, I'm, I'm gonna cry just a little bit. Just a little bit. Flash Crow. 
I actually made a Honchkrow team in 2018. It was really good. It was really, really good. <laughs> and I'm sad because I only got to bring it to one tournament, but it was it was eat. There's the Eviolite. There's the Assault Vest. Hold on. Hold on. He might have a chance to live. You'd have to Dynamax, but we're going to trade Dynamaxes. I can guarantee you that. We're about to trade those Dynamaxes. Oh. Hello? Excuse me, sir. Um, I'll, I'll just... I guess I'll do it myself. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I, I, re I, I don't know. Maybe he knew. But I don't want him to max Quake. Let me go into Glycopop. Dang it. Marcos, you idiot. I really thought they'd do it, and the Assault Vest kind of messes with me now. Do you think they, they have to have max Quake? That's on... If you can't fit Max Quake on an Assault Vest Metagross, you didn't make an Assault Vest Metagross. So why would I stay in? Dang it. I could have just Max Flared and been done with it. I could have just Max Flared and been done with it. Okay, I'm going to Max Flare and be done with it now. I think I've earned this. On God, if you if you don't do exactly what I think you're gonna do this time, I'll poop. I will poop, sir. And it will be on your hands. And you're gonna have to wash those hands. Why do you guys follow me? <laughs> Tell me that he will just do the, the he will do what I think he's gonna do now, and he just isn't like playing 5D chess and conditioning me. If this is the turn they trick room, if this is the turn they trick room, I swear, I will swear. I'll say, I'll say heck. I will say it on stream, and you guys are gonna hear it. And you're gonna be like, oh, no way. He said heck. Luckily, I haven't lost a Pokemon yet. If I can get a Pokemon lead right now, I'd be so happy. Can you Thunderbolt, sir? Because your last turn made no sense. Can you just do that same turn right now? Watch him like paralyze me with Thunderbolt before I can move and I'll lose. That'd make me sad. Max Flare. Okay, you should be gone. Thank you. That, that thing... That thing was annoying me. <laughs> um, so either he trick roomed on my trick roomed, or, or trick roomed on my trick room, or I'm actually just slower than him. No, he thunderbolted. He just thunderbolted. That's cool. No paralysis either. So if like you know, Finny or something comes in, they have a Finny, right? Finny comes in, I can knock it out. I can knock it out. I'll be fine. I'm just so confused by the way they're playing now. There's the Tapu Finny. Um, I'm gonna say Nightshade and the Max Overgrowth is is Gucci for this. And I can definitely live a Max Quake. 100%. Or not a Max Quake. I can definitely live um, a Max Geyser in the sun when I'm Dynamaxed. That's the magic of Colossal. You can just live the darnest things, you know? Colossal just lives the darnest things. And if they don't Dynamax, this Tab Affinity's gone. And I can take my next turn to set up rocks. No, they're definitely not choice P2. I'm pretty sure we first an Eviolite. Like 90% sure we first an Eviolite, right? Hey, there it is. Tell me you didn't max guard. Tell me you just went for it. Because I should be able to knock you out then. I'm also going to get my steam engine, which kind of sucks. Kind of sucks, not going to lie. Not gonna lie, it kind of sucks. Nightshade. 
Max Overgrowth. Tell me you KO. Tell me this is like just a fast spec Finny and I'm going to KO. Eh, not quite. But uh, Glacier should be able to come in. Here's the berry. Yeah, I'm going to say Nightshade High Horsepower is enough. Especially since I'm Life Orb Glacier. Uh, maybe not quite. You're not quite. As they Thunderbolt into me again, they really don't like Colossal. And they, per they paralyze me. Listen, if you get rid of Colossal, it's whatever. It's whatever now. How many turns of Trick Room are left? I'm just so confused by how they played this. I am just dumbfounded. I'm stupid founded. Do I have two turns of Trick Room or one? Hopefully it's two. Two would make this a lot easier. Because if it's two, then I can change my name to Grimnay Boosted. You be ballin'. You really do be ballin' today. Two. Okay. Yeah, I can do this. Uh, let me Nightshade. Go for Protect, and then I can High Horsepower. I can High Haunts. I can High Haunts Power. Jack, that's the wrong emote. Come on. Come on now. Hit me with the hit me with the Galice Pog, please. Watch them reveal Ally Switch the final turn of the game. That'd be a good reason to cry, right? <laughs> the crying Glalie emote. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll settle for Nene. I'll settle for the uh, the Whip Nene. I shouldn't take too much from this. Nightshade. I'm going to say high horsepower Nightshade's enough now. Especially if they're Starfallen. Confused why they didn't just go for the, the Geyser. It, it, they should have Geysered, to be honest. They crit me too, which is a little annoying. But now they don't have recovery. I can't be burned. I, I, I really can't ask for much more than that. And since Dusclops is slow... Oh, they reversed the Trick Room. Oh no. Oh no. Um, how do I play this out? Lo siento, Glissopad. Pobrecito, Glissopad. Lo siento. Pobrecito. There we go. As they try attack, interesting. Quick room, yeah, uh, they're gonna drop to a single high horsepower now, so I, sh I feel pretty comfortable. Because their Dynamax ends. I didn't know you were bilingual. Um, yeah, I, not really. Like, I speak enough Spanish to speak to my, like, my grandparents and stuff, but... I'm not completely bilingual. That is within High Haunt's power range. So uh, I'll take this opportunity to Will-O-Wisp. Oh, I can't even Will-O-Wisp you. Bro, why is Glacier useless? Um, No reason not to double into Finny, technically. High Haunt's power. I might lose. Depends on if they try to trick room here. I have to get rid of Porygon real soon. You watch Telemundo? Eh, I used to when I was little. Have a Finny goes for Protect, that's whatever. They might just Trick Room on me, I don't really care. Yeah, there it is. How many turns of Rain are left? Like, all of them? One turn of Rain. Uh, there's no reason not to Trick Room on them again. They could try to Trick Room on me one more time, but I'll just Trick Room Protect. I see very little reason not to do that. I don't know what their last Pokemon is. I have to start thinking about that. I should have been thinking about that this whole time. The Moonblast. Try attack
All right, you, you guys want to see the goat play? I'm just going to trick room again. I'm going to trick room again in case they're mad lads. I, I just realized I didn't PP max my trick room. Sag. I only get a couple more goes at this. Usually I don't have to click it more than like once or twice a game. So this is this is actually kind of concerning that I realize that. Hopefully they just protect Finny and trick with Porygon or trick room with Porygon again. All right, there it is. They should have gone for what I think they did. So now I can knock him out. Like Mama said. Oh no, they. I, okay, I got Nainade. So what you're telling me is I could have just gone for it. But I let it slip. My palms, dude, they're sweaty. My knees, they're weak. My arms, they're... they're an alright weight. So I can trick room one more time. It's slowly looking worse and worse for me. I need to land a high horsepower on that Porygon immediately. Or not a high horsepower. I need to land a plus one close combat on that Porygon immediately. Hopefully I can whiff a muddy water or something. Maybe they'll just moonblast into my Dusclops, trying to be cheeky. Hey, okay. They're trying to be cheeky. They thought they could be cheeky. They were not. They could not. Give me this. That's revenge for the last turn. Now I'm at plus one. Granted, I have to prioritize Porygon 2 above all else because I have no way of hitting it with my Dusclops. But hopefully, the feeling is mutual between Dusclops and something on their side of the field and I can win with Nightshade. That'd be great. That'd be great. Rotom. How do I feel about Rotom? Not great. Not, not, not great, to be honest. Uh, Check this out. Please let this pay off. Please let this pay off. Please let this pay off. <laughs> Tell me they did something dumb. Please. Just please live. I'm gonna need you to live, bro. He's not, by the way. He's not gonna live. That's the only way I can respond to that. Come on. I'm going to need you to KO now. I'm going to need you to KO now. Come on, Glacier. You're plus two. Come on, Glacier. You got this. Plus two close combat. That's all that matters. Come on. Crit would be cool, too, to be honest. It's plus two life or close combat from Glacier. You got this, man. You got this. They could disconnect, too. That'd be cool. <laughs> I'm scared. Yes! <laughs> yes! Okay. That was scary. Oh, my God. Did you kill my... No, I didn't. I didn't. Um, that would have been cool, too, though. <laughs> that would have been cool, too, though. What was that? That was all that for, like, what? 1540? I'm, like, at 1540 now. That's just sad. <laughs> all of that to hit 1540. Let's do one more for tonight. It's gonna hit 7 p.m. Then I gotta hit the treadmill. And I might stream again tomorrow. I might just do the rest of my run alone. Who knows? Get a good match, though. Raiden? Okay. Ah, uh, it's a low rating. Please don't let me lose to them. Hello? Um. I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I mean, uh, as long as I... They lose to Dusclops Glacier. 
that's just all I'm seeing. We'll bring Golisopod for, you know, Golisopod reasons. Hey, Hardstark98, thanks for the host, man. They lose hard to Golisopod, or they lose hard to um, Glacier under Trick Room, is what I'm seeing here. Judging by the team comp, I kind of want to say they don't have Taunt. That doesn't seem like something that someone who would run a team that looks like this would think about. So I'll just do it. Tapu Koko, my lot. Yeah, it's very, very unlikely they would taunt here. And the electric terrain means they also can't go for anything like a, like a hypnosis. So taunt, taunt um, Tapu Koko is even rarer among like lower ladder players. So that I, I feel pretty safe. Wait, what item did we see on Tapu Koko? I'm sorry, I like never pay attention to Frisk. The most important turn of the game, I don't pay attention. I, I apologize for that. But what did we see on Tapu Koko? <laughs> Bro, they have it. They actually have it. They actually, for realsies, have it. Okay, uh, this is still doable. This is still doable. Let me just high horsepower you. They, for realsies, have taunt Tapu Koko. I mean, good for them, to be honest. Good for them. As they protect. And it was Sash Coco, yeah. That's a solid chunk. My horsepower does not connect. Um, I mean, I brought Colossal, right? I did bring Colossal. Cool. I might have to go Colossal mode. Can Tapu Coke? Can Can Goliathspot eat this? I feel like Goliathspot eats this actually. First impression does more than Aqua Jet if it's regular resisted. Funny enough, all high horsepower. Uh, I just don't want them to be able to taunt me pretty much that's it oh bro okay i think i'm just gonna take the garchomp then that's probably within range of aqua jet after the high horsepower skull don't burn no burn no burn bro uh, okay that's probably not within range hmm I think I just give him Glacier. I can still win with Trick Room, it's just not fun. Especially now that I took so much from that. Um, I kind of want a Wide Guard. I'll just save Pod. I'll just save Pod. And I need some pre-existing damage on... Eh, you know, let's just, let's just do that. All right, he did damage to his Milotic, which is phenomenal. Here's the life do. Okay, I don't know what I'm facing, but it's scary. This is just scary now. Hmm. I want my lot of gone. I want my lot of gone. That'll make my life a lot easier. Trick room here. Helping hand. Should be fine. Rock slide won't knock me out. You'd have to flinch me. Oh, you just helping handed your own Milot your own earthquake. You knocked out your own Milotic. And I got Trick Room off. This is fine. 
Critical hit on Glycepon. I told you, Earthquake does nothing to this thing. Alright, now Coco's in the back. Um, It's Sash Coco, so I need pre-existing damage, but I also really, really need to get rid of this... Uh, <laughs> I really need to get rid of this uh, Garchomp. There's the Tapu Coco. It's, it's within range of liquidation, and I automatically switch out into my boy, so. Um, on Nightshade, liquidation. That, those two moves should do it. As they withdraw into Weavile. Okay. That'll KO. Uh, Glycepod will automatically switch out into the into the boy. Oh wow, he lived. How much defense is on that thing? Okay, okay, okay. Luckily, it goes down to bulldoze. I just win. I'm surprised that eight. I mean, I don't have much attack investment on my Glycepod. Pretty much nothing, in fact. Um, but now I can just click bulldoze. I definitely max Volcolith onto the Tapu Coco to knock it out. And the reason I'm going for Max Volkleth here is because any amount of damage is really important to beating a low health Garchomp in the back. Amp Shoddy, okay. This has been a strange final match. This has been a very strange final match for the night. Uh, what time on Sunday does the IC end? Bulldoze breaks his sash. I still have all of my trick room pretty much. I probably just win. Because I can just click max solar beam. Non-resisted. Plus two. Low health Garchomp. We're good. Yer. 7 p.m. Eastern on Sunday night, right? Not Saturday night. Because I want to make sure I'm not wasting my time. <laughs> I know, right, Prince? Alright. Uh, that, I can just do the thing. Nightshade. Max Overgrowth. They are not taking these two moves together. And they have to choose who they're going to knock out, and they're taking Rock's damage. I'm pretty certain what's going to happen is they'll just barely survive with the Garchomp. And they opt to protect. Okay. They're still going to take a lot of Rock's damage. And I still have a lot of turns of Trick Room. Sunday, okay. They're going to get some recovery, but it's not more than the rocks. And they can't max guard or anything. Hey, that's what I like to see. The rocks are so broken. How many turns of Trick Room? They can't double protect on me, right? They could double protect on me. However, Earthquake's cut in half, so I would live. We're good. Max Overgrowth. It's a sixth, dude. It's so gross. A sixth of their health for rocks. Yeah, they don't live. Yer! Cool. Big red button won't save you now. Yeah, technically they should have max guarded if they wanted the best chance of surviving. So we managed to win there. That would have been really bad if we lost.